Hello, friends. Thank you for joining me uh, in this time together. Let us begin with our responsive opening sentences. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. If God is for us, who can be against us? There is nothing in all creation that can separate us from the love of God, which is ours in Christ Jesus our Lord. Friends, just a couple of things. Uh, no special announcements today. Uh, I'll, I will be announcing, uh, uh, I'll just tell you that uh, Nora Giangola, the, our uh, organist, is also taking the job as office manager uh, and uh, has been doing some training with Jamie. Uh, and uh, she will be in the office, it looks like now, on Mondays, uh, Tuesdays, and Fridays. Uh, from like 9 until 1, uh, it might be a little later, different days, don't know exactly, but, but uh, if you need to talk to someone or need to contact the church, Monday, Tuesday, uh, and Friday mornings are the best times to contact uh, Nora. Uh, I have been coming in, you may know, know on Tuesdays when I record these, I prepare and, and record these programs, and then on Fridays when I'm doing uh, work for the Sunday service. So. Uh, and I'm also available through my cell phone, and I think uh, we'll have to put my number out again. It probably got lost in, to a lot of people, but we'll try to get it, get it out again. Uh, let us continue in our service now. Uh, let us bow our heads in prayer. You have brought us again to new life, almighty God and gathered us into the community of faith to be your people as we witness and work in this world. Feed us today with the presence of our risen Lord Jesus Christ and breathe into us your Holy Spirit that we may be bold witnesses in all we say and do to the glory of your holy name. Amen. We're going to sing two verses, the first and last verse of the hymn my song forever shall record. Whoops, that's not the note. <laughs> My song forever shall record the tender mercies of the Lord. Thy faithfulness will I proclaim and every age shall know thy name. I sing of mercies that endure forever builded firm and sure. With blessing is the nation crowned whose people know the joyful sound. They in the light, O Lord, shall live, the light thy face and favor give, their fame and might to thee belong, for in thy face they are strong. I got myself a little confused there. I apologize. I was trying to think about what next, what I'm supposed to do next, and where the papers were, rather than thinking about, well, focus on this. So here we go. Let us continue now uh, our Scripture reading today is from the first letter of John, from chapter 3, verses 1 through 3, and this is a reading from the New Revised Standard Version of Scripture. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be 
has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this, when he, when he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify himself, purify themselves, just as he is pure. Just a, in just a few minutes, it's hard to, you, you really can't do something uh, a, a whole lot with these, but uh, just a few thoughts for us to think about and consider, something to ruminate on, something to meditate on. There's something very special to note right from the start. John calls God the Father, and as a consequence, we are called the children of God. And that's an important concept to think about. That's an important concept to meditate on. What does it mean to think of God uh, the, the all-powerful, the almighty, what does, it think, what does it mean to think about him as, as our father? And what does it mean to think about us as his children? God's love for his children, that is for we who believe, is a gift. It is, it is the grace of God. It is, as I was, under, as I was taught, taught back in my first year at, at college, it is freely given. A gift is freely given. Grace is freely given. It's not earned. It's not, it's not uh, bar bartered for or bargained for. It is freely given. It is something we cannot earn or achieve. As God's children, that is, by those loved by God, we are the people who love one another. That's the consequence of God's love for us, is that we love one another. This relationship of God from and for God and from and for each other is the primary commitment of our lives. The primary commitment of our lives. That means the most important thing in our lives. The Christian song that goes back, I what, into the 70s or 80s, something like that. The Christian song declares, they'll know we are Christians by our love. Again, there's something to think about. There's something to meditate on. How is it that we love one another? How is, how is it that we do love with each other? That means that our relationship with other children, with other Christians, that is the children of God, must ultimately become more important than our relationship to the world, to, to our culture, to our nation. And that's a difficult thing for, for a lot of people to do. I think it's a hard lesson to learn because there are so many other things from culture and society and the nation that we live in, that we are surrounded by, that we are immersed in almost more than our commitment and our immersion in the church. It competes with the church, which is our family, and even with God, who is our Father, for our attention and loyalty. I think most of us, we usually try to keep a foot and a hand in both camps. Our life in God and our one true family and all the outside attachments of society and nation and world. But as we're drawn into closer fellowship with God and with God's children, those other attachments become less important. Think about that. When we are drawn into the closer fellowship with God and with God's, God's children, with each other, with those of us who love God, then our other attachments become less important. We start to recognize the promises that God's love brings, that God's love teaches. Paul in Corinthians writes, love is patient and kind. Love is not envious or boastful or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things. And the ultimate promise, love never ends. What we must hope for and seek and pray for 
is that there will come a time for every one of us when God will purify our hearts, when God will really truly change us, when we will see Christ and behold Christ's glory. And then we shall understand God's love for us. And we will be able to respond to his love with our own for him and for his children. Amen. Now let us bow our heads in prayer. O oh Lord, open our eyes that we may see the needs of others. Open our ears that we may hear their cries. Open our hearts so that they need not be without assistance in times of suffering. Be with us, Lord, in all of these days, all of these difficult days. Help us to recall, Lord, those who are struggling, those whose lives are, are harder than perhaps they need to be. And that perhaps either our presence or our prayers or our touch, our outreach may strengthen and, and help them. Lord, let us not be afraid to defend the weak because of the anger of the strong. Nor let us be afraid to defend the poor because of the anger of the rich. Show us where love and faith and hope are needed and use us to bring them to these places. Open our eyes and ears that we may this coming day be able to do some work of peace for you. We ask all this through Christ our Savior who taught us to pray together, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Our closing hymn is Go With Us, Lord, sung two verses. Mm. Go with us, Lord, and guide the way through this and every coming day, that in your spirit strong and true our lives may be our gift to you. Go with me, Lord, and guide my way through this and every coming day, that in your spirit, strong and true, my life may be my gift to you. Thank you for being with us, friends. May we continue to grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. The Lord's name be praised. Amen. Go with God, friends.